A jury in St. Louis found that Johnson & Johnson should pay $4.7 billion in damages to 22 women who said their ovarian cancer was caused by asbestos in the company's signature baby powder. According to the company, this verdict, like all the others, was based on junk science and emotions and distortions of historical documents by the plaintiff's attorneys out for nothing but personal gain. On December 14, 2018, two separate investigative reports one from the New York Times and the others from Reuters, found that Johnson & Johnson had been aware of possible asbestos contamination in its baby powder products for at least 50 years. According to Lisa Gillian at Reuters, her report was the first time many of the documents had been made public. They included company memos, internal reports, company emails, test results, and more. Until now, Johnson & Johnson had been able to keep these records sealed by court order. After seeing them, it's no wonder why.